what is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to our brand new day from the philippines once again it's your boy success and i'm here in this beautiful park uh, last time i did a video right here and i show you guys around and today i came back out here because it's a cool weather why not come out you know and do some videos for you guys yeah so all right guys so here I am standing in this park and into this video we're going to talk about some challenges foreigners face when living in the Philippines. So if you are thinking of moving to the Philippines, if you are a foreigner and you are thinking of moving to the Philippines or you're just planning to come to the Philippines and spend some time because I'm, I'm part of this group chat and I see a lot of people posting in the group chat like um, they are actually foreigners not Filipinos they are always asking questions like what are the challenges you know living in the Philippines as a foreigner and usually I don't want to answer these questions like messaging people and sending them answers so I use these uh, questions to come up here to create videos and vlogs about you know answering the question and share with the world why, why not share with a lot of people so that's why today I'm here to tell you some challenges you should expect as a foreigner who's planning to live in the Philippines or to come to the Philippines or to just stay in the Philippines for maybe months you know so well if you're new here guys I'm success and I do travel videos from the Philippines or slash lifestyle vlog so i also share my experiences living in the philippines as all foreigners so that's why in this video i'm going to give you a few tips how to overcome these challenges because the first thing is you you've got to know the challenges to expect when moving to the philippines so if you're new here make sure to smash that subscribe button and welcome to the vlog so for those of you guys who are always like um you just read the title of the video and then you come down and comment oh success what are you talking about so i i want to encourage you guys to please please guys watch the video whenever a youtuber posts a video watch the video sometimes the best information or or the most valuable tips are always inserted at the end of the video sorry my phone i always insert it at the end of the video that's why i want to encourage you guys to watch the video from start to end before you comment because sometimes you just made up you just make a comment like for example, a, a someone came to, to one of my videos and just like, oh, success, YouTubers, you guys are taking advantage of the Philippines and Filipinos and you just enter our country. It's, it was so sad to know that people think that way. When you have millions of Filipinos who are working abroad, working in different countries, you know, and then now you are, you are trying to bash foreigners who are in your country, who are, you know, trying to or promote tourism in your country you're trying to to you know to kick them out of the country it's really sad it's really bad you know and filipinos work abroad filipinos there are a lot of filipinos seafarer in africa and we should not we should not be doing this man it's really sad anyways back to the video number one challenge is if you are a person from the western world or you are of you you are from a developed country and usually in these countries you drink tap water here in the philippines don't drink tap water don't drink tap water in the philippines it's not allowed bawa bawa the meaning of bawa means not allowed in the philippines so don't drink tap water in the philippines it's not allowed it's not safe don't drink tap water you know when I first came to the Philippines and I saw people have like a blue container of water, like this water is being purified, you buy them and then, you know, take them to your house and that's safe for drinking. But if you're just gonna go like uh, in the sink and then get a tap water, don't drink it guys, it's not safe in the Philippines. People don't drink tap water here. And, and this is for people who are coming from the US, people who wants to retire in the Philippines from Europe, the US, Australia, and Africa, developed countries, you know, that you are drinking tap water in your country. Don't drink tap water in the Philippines, guys. It's not safe. It's gonna get you sick. It's not good. Don't do it. And sometimes you go to some places, you see locals, local Filipinos drinking tap water. Don't drink it. It's not you. Don't try it, guys. I tried it before. I even boiled the tap water to challenge myself to drink it. I got sick. I got like I, I got really sick. Don't don't try it, guys. Don't do it. Bawa. Please don't drink tap water. So I think a lot of people are gonna face challenges. And before you get used to this, mistakenly sometimes you want to try to drink the tap water. But this this video is gonna serve as a reminder to you: never drink tap water in the Philippines. 
number two challenge is I know a lot of you guys have read online or you come to the Philippines and you, you feel like uh, people here do call center work so number two is not everyone here speaks English so if you're moving to the Philippines just get it at the back of your mind that you are moving to a new country people here have their own languages people here you know live their own life there are even places here in the Philippines people don't know how to speak Tagalog so they have their own language so if you are coming to the Philippines and you are someone who speaks English or French you're gonna have a little bit of difficulty because I mean 80 percent or 70 or 80 percent of the population here or the locals here speaks English or understand at least a little bit of English but you should also get it out of the back of your mind that they won't understand the English the way you actually gonna to speak to a typical English speaker so if you're gonna to speak to a local or local Filipino sometimes you have to repeat what you are saying like two or three times so you have to be patient you have to actually speak in the way they're gonna understand like sometimes people say uh, Filipino English there's an English called the Filipino English sometimes if you want to if you go to the market for example you want to talk to the locals in the market the real locals people who are pure Filipino who, who, who don't know know much about you know social media and are not watching TV shows to learn proper English so if you want to communicate with them you have to be patient you have to talk to them in the way they're gonna understand what you're trying to say or else you just be like you you get angry like oh what's wrong with these people they don't speak English they don't understand what I'm saying but the English is not kind of like the first language here because the, the students even the kids go to school, they learn in Tagalog. So I've been to school campus because I was wondering like, I thought Philippines is an English speaking country. Like, that's what I thought, you know? I thought the country is, a, is an English speaking country. Yeah, it's true, people, it is true that people here actually speak English, but not a lot of people also knows how to speak English or understand English. Because if you go to school here, like the kids go to school here, grade school, they teach them in Tagalog. And some colleges uh, teach in uh, English. Not even all colleges. So some college you're gonna go to, some universities you're gonna go to, you're still gonna speak Tagalog. And then as an international student in the Philippines, you need to take up a Tagalog course. Yeah. and. But I also want to appreciate the Philippines because in Southeast Asia, Philippines is ranked, I think the, the country that have the highest English speaking uh, population among them, like the locals, I'm not talking about foreigners, I'm, talk, I'm talking about lo the local Filipino. So to conclude on this one, if you come to the Philippines as a foreigner and you are trying to, you know, get, get used to the people, take it easy. And then this takes us to point number three. So number three is that if you are from a country that you have never experienced traffic or a lot of cars, then get ready to accept the Filipino traffic. So here in the Philippines, traffic is, uh, is part of the culture, <laughs> especially in Manila. So this, this is actually for people who are going to live in Manila actually. So if you're gonna live in Manila or any city nearby in Manila, because there are some cities like three hours, four hours away from Manila, there are still traffic. For example, I went to Baguio. There are traffic in Baguio, even like sometimes it's even more than Manila. Traffic in Baguio, traffic in Cavite. So Manila and the nearby cities, you always experience traffic. If you don't want to experience traffic, make sure to go to Shogao, go to different places. Because even if you go to Cebu, there are traffic Cebu has a lot of traffic so traffic is a huge it's a big thing here especially like morning time and evening time there are always huge traffic on this road called Edsa and other places in Manila there are always traffic so you have to get used to it so that's why if you need to travel to go to a place like you have to always leave like one hour or one hour 30 minutes I have like in between interval to travel so you need to have like one hour spare time just to travel just in case there are traffic and I'm gonna give you this tip if you if you want to be the traffic you don't have your own car you don't have your own motorcycle you want to be the traffic it's better to use the train the look the train here it's called MRT I've used the MRT a lot of times and that's just gonna be the traffic but sometimes but sometimes you also have to travel to the MRT station and there could be traffic from where you need to travel so you always just have to get it at the back of your mind that there's gonna be traffic and you need time you need enough time to travel 
yeah you need enough time to travel so if you are from a country where you're just gonna get on a bus you're just gonna get in a car real quick and you know just five ten minutes and then, and then go to your destination it's not always like that in the Philippines you always have to leave time for the traffic so you should take this seriously take the traffic in the Philippines seriously guys like take this as something very 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 serious because if you came to the Philippines and you have a very important appointment sometimes you might just miss the appointment you might get late and that's why people here have Filipino time because I think it's because of the traffic you know there are always too much of traffic you know yeah so because of this people even have what we call the Filipino time so for today's video the last thing I have struggled with I don't think a lot of people struggle with this but I, I'm, I'm just talking about it. Maybe you might also have this, uh, you know, challenge when you come to the Philippines. It has to do with the food. Like, you know, I'm from a country where I grew up eating spicy food. You know, yeah, spicy food, salty food, yeah, and you know, yeah, salty food, spicy food, and what, what else? Yeah, we do, we do eat food that has sugar. But I was surprised food that I have been eating for years so many years with salt and spicy I was surprised to come in the Philippines and see people putting sugar in the food like it was my first time to see a regular meal like a meal that you're gonna eat mixed with rice and something and people put sugar in it like what sugar like people put sugar in the food like I mean it's not I'm not saying we don't eat sugar we have uh, this kind of food like maybe breakfast you're gonna drink a tea you could put a little bit of sugar in the tea or you you're gonna face uh, you're gonna eat oatmeal you could put a little bit of sugar in the oatmeal like you're gonna eat something like the rice the soft rice like you cook the rice very softly like oatmeal but it's not oat and then you want to put sugar or you're gonna eat some different you know kinds of food you put sugar but here in the Philippines the typical soup we call it soup and the Filipinos call it ulan. The typical ulan you need to eat with your rice. Sometimes they put sugar in those ulan, which is something I cannot eat, honestly. Sometimes I, I do try them, but I usually want to go for the spicy Filipino food. And don't get me wrong, there are also very spicy Filipino food. And whenever you go to a restaurant and order, if you want the food to be spicy, you could actually just tell the chef like, oh, can you make this spicy? And yeah, it's going to be really spicy. There are a lot of cuisines to try here in the Philippines. The Philippines have, um, have amazing dish, dishes here and some of the most delicious food I've ever eaten, I've tried them here in the Philippines. But when it comes to the issue of where they need to put sugar in the food, it's not really my thing. And it, it, it was really challenging for me to really get adapted to it. And I had, like, luckily for me, I'm able to get a few stores from the groceries to be able to prepare my own food here in the Philippines. So most times if i'm home here i cook my own food and yeah it's really good i really love it and i love to make it very spicy and even filipinos wouldn't be able to eat my spicy food so yeah so if you have uh if you have anything to say about everything i've said in this video like all of my points i made you can just leave a comment down below if i'm wrong I'm willing to accept my you know correction so you could just make a little bit of correction down in, in the description and try to put me on track i'm also i'm also just giving all of these uh tips based on my personal experiences but i i'm pretty much sure that i'm pretty much sure that you could also you know have these challenges like every foreigner coming to the philippines who have these challenges and yeah so once again it's your boy success and if you want me to do more of these videos comment down below the topics and questions you want me to answer for you from the philippines and i'm gonna do it for you just before you go if you're new here make sure to smash that subscribe button stay tuned for my next video and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that whenever i post a video you get notified and yeah peace and love you guys see you guys in the next one it's your boy success peace